In this video, we will learn about the creation of smart surveys and opinion census. Within the smart survey, you can create questions that lead to other questions or actions based on the user's answer. Smart surveys help you to not only know but also understand the customer's responses. To start off, click on the plus icon at the bottom right corner of your dashboard. Now, select the second option to choose Smart Survey. For this video, let us again take the example of Yash's Cafe. Start off by typing the name of the survey. Next, on the left side of the screen, select the basic details you require from your customer. You can also allow the responses to be anonymous and allow one person to vote multiple times. Let us ask the customers for their name and phone number. Next, choose the filters you want to add to your survey. Filters help you divide and analyze your data more comprehensively. Let's ask the customers for their gender and age. You can also create custom filters by clicking on Add Custom. You can learn more about filters in its respective video. Now, we will add questions to the survey. Let us first add a single picker question. You can add an image and also add an alert to the answers. Simply click on the big bell. Here you can see previously added contacts or add a new contact. Let's select an existing one. To receive an email, click on the add sign and to receive an SMS, click on the envelope symbol. Now click on next. Then click on the little bell next to the answers you want to be notified about and done. You can learn more about the feature alerts from its dedicated video tutorial. Now simply click on add. For the interesting bit, since it is a smart survey, we can add subsequent questions or actions to each option added. When a customer answers yes, we can simply send them a thank you message and end their survey. To do so, click on close path next to the option yes. Select SMS to user. Type in your message and click on save. With this, the path to the first option is closed. For everyone who said no, let's understand them further. To add a follow-up question, click on the thin red line under the answer no. You get the option to choose another question. Let us now choose the multi-picker question. Type your question and now click on add. The answer to this will help Yash plan which area requires more work in his cafe. If you want to close the path of this question with a certain action, click on close path next to the question. Choose your desired action. Let's send an apology message to the user. Click on SMS to user. Type your desired message. Now simply click on save. Following this, click on next. Here you can preview your survey. Also at the left side of the screen are a few more options. The first option is to edit template. Simply click on edit template to personalize your quiz. Here you can change your display theme, enter the hex code or upload an image as the background. Let's choose another color and display theme. Now click on save and preview. Next option is to share. You can share your survey via a shareable link. Simply copy the link and share away. You can also avail other options to share by clicking on share better. Here, you can download a QR code, set a unique code or embed on your web page or blog. You can also share via collectors. Here, you can simply select existing or add new email addresses which will give your selected collectors an access to the survey. These collectors can then collect data personally from others via tablets, phones, etc. Lastly, grant permission to the desired method of sharing and done. Learn more about sharing and collection later in the respective tutorials. Next, you set an expiration date. Type in a start date and an end date. You can also keep the survey running for an indefinite period of time. Lastly, allow or disallow comments on your survey. And that is it. Now you can see real-time analytics as soon as the votes start coming in.